Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Edge of Tomorrow, thoughts. So, about that ending. Okay, by the movie's own established logic, the Omega resets the 24 hours of the, of the Alpha. When the Omega dies there at the end, how could it reset the 24 hours of the Alpha? I mean, I, I appreciate that he's getting the, the blood of the Alpha right there, but yeah, and obviously it's that thing of, you know, the very last time he'll get another chance, and yeah, and and it fits in with the, the whole thing in the movie of if you are a hero, then good things will happen. You know, we even see J-Squad still, you know, ragging on each other and, and this sort of thing. My hat does come off to that that the exact way it ends that that you know he walks up to Rita and she's like I, I don't remember her exact words but it's something like what did, what do you want to talk to me about and he just smiles and it's just that's a really clever way because we've seen the two of them in this situation many times and he certainly has each time with him knowing something that he had to tell her and then now it's like yeah how how exactly do we reverse that was quite nicely done now on that it it is quite nice the way the yeah they're they're near the end where he's you know he's got the grenades and he tosses the belt towards the you know, the, the Omega, and like the Alpha comes in and he opens his hands and it's all the, the you know, pins of the grenades and he's like, this is for Ratowski. I did like seeing J-Squad in action for just a little bit there at the end and, you know, I mean, finally we have some tension in this movie. I, I wish it had gone on for longer. I, I do like that, you know, we've already seen the, the guy, he had the landmine, so obviously there at the end, he uses the landmine. We, we realized that was what he was doing it for. It was to, you know, go out with a bang, you know. It's, it's one of several moments that this... <laughs> I think the generous word is lifts from aliens. You know, you've also got them running away from a crashing, you know, drop ship and hopping up and just okay, so it's it's more nicely done. Just the you know, aliens from 1986. Obviously the effects are gonna be just a little bit better. But yeah, then we have the, you know, bombing yourself when you're about to die. This yeah. Now and and you know, you have this thing of don't reference a better movie and I'm not saying this is a bad movie but it's not aliens now I suppose that more or less covers those parts of the film I, I quite liked when Cage and Rita are going into the building and it's like Cage is counting how many steps and he's like okay turn left now turn right and, and that whole thing, that, that was fun. And then, you know, the moment that they realize it's a trap, she pulls a gun, not to shoot them, but to shoot him so they get another go. Yeah, that was, that was clever. And then obviously the next time they just grabbed a car and drove off and, you know, of course, were chased. Now, as I say in the review, the setup stuff, is really obvious in this. Like every time a line seems like it might be important, 
it obviously is. You know, you have the, the thing of, no, no, don't use that thing on him, it doesn't even work. And then later is, oh, this thing? Well, I guess we could try to use, yeah, maybe, maybe you could try to use it now that you've seen that the Omega is not there in that, you know, in, in Germany or wherever it was. And, you know, you have the thing of, you, you definitely have to die straight up. You can't just, like, bleed. If you awake in a hospital bed and they have changed, you know, they've put new blood in you, then, you know, it'll, it'll all be gone. You know what? I thought I was getting a little bit of an LDS vibe from this thing. I mean, okay, so blood transfusions are evil and they will take away your second sight. Because, I mean, they're at the end when, when you know, the, the female officer greets him and says, like, have you heard the good news? I, I swear she was about to hand him a watchtower. Now... I suppose, but but yeah, you have the the blood and the the thingamajig. Was that maybe the oral lines? I did like the whole thing of in time. Rita opens up to him, but then you know she later denies that. You know she says, "Oh, I just said that so you'd shut up." You know and. No, no, what I told you back then wasn't actually true, you know, and eventually she does admit that part of the reason she's so guarded is she lost someone, and it's sort of, he's now in this, in this situation, and that's also, that is something vital to, if, if it didn't have the, the heart in, in there, obviously, you know, like like with Groundhog Day, the it just it would not it would not be very good, you know, without that. So so yeah, he's trying to keep her alive, and yeah, and and it becomes like a big thing. Like, okay, I could go on without you, but like he says, if if you die, and then the Omega dies then you're dead. And then, you know, he really doesn't want that to be the case. So, yeah, that's... That that was quite nicely done. And you have that whole bit where he... Excuse me, where he very decisively goes in... Excuse me, and he lets, you know, the other guy, the, the big Brit, he lets him be crushed by the dropship. And yeah, I suppose that more or less covers it. But yeah, the, the movie does a lot of fun stuff with the repetitions, with the, you know, I know what you're going to say, I know, you know, I know the contents of your pocket and you know, all this stuff, and the, the reactions, you know, the, the stuff with, you know, they're not buying it at all kind of thing, you know, the, the, the bit where, you know, it smash cuts to him with tape over his mouth, it's like, yeah, that's, that is what they would do, and then, you know, they, what is he yelling, what is he yelling, and the tape comes off, the, ship is going to explode, you know, that, yeah, that was quite good. I suppose it's, I don't even have to mention that I found the, all the stuff of Cage trying to talk his way out of the situation to be really grating and irritating. It's probably meant to be because we're not supposed to like that he's you know, that he wants out, and and that whole thing, but, yeah, it was, and I, to be a devil's advocate, I guess, as you pointed out to the general, he did just talk, what was it, a million 
people into joining, and now he's supposed to be sent off. See, it's the kind of thing where you know the the needs of the you know the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. <laughs> Do you really think this one man is going to make a huge amount of difference with a gun in his hands? when you've already seen the huge difference he can do with a camera in front of his face. It's, yeah, I just, I don't really see it. Now... Yes, I do believe that covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.